I'm like, have you ever had to walk again? You know this pain. All those times I wanted to give up, but my purpose wouldn't let me. You think I really care about a hater? I ain't gonna let nobody stress me. I'm really God's child. I couldn't run from this blessing. If they turn their back, never give up. That was the lesson. It ain't no question. I ain't gotta guess about it. I know he worthy. I'm on my knees praying again. I be up early. Like, God, thank you for getting me out of this situation again. So welcome to Store Talk. Today we're spotlighting a young athlete, one who has been dominating on the court and in the classroom, great student athlete, special uh, AAU time with Queen of League, right? Yes. Okay, today we have with us the one and the only. London Reyes. What position do you play and what school you play for? I'm a center at North Cobb High School. North Cobb, yeah, yeah. So how did this basketball journey start for you? How old were you when you first started playing? I might have been like nine, I think, either nine or ten. And I was playing softball first, but everybody told me that I was too tall, so I needed to play either basketball or volleyball. Yeah, when did you start to notice that your game started excelling and you started to get good? Probably once I started playing in middle school for the theater team for the high school, I started realizing that like this might be something I could take further. Yeah, what do you love about basketball? I love the the fact that it's like a team sport, so you always have people who you can rely on and who rely on you. It's not just like a sole pressure, it's like a group effort. Yeah, what type of leader would you say you are? Do you lead with your play? Do you lead vocally? I would say a little bit of both. Like, if I know that we're in a tough situation in a game, I try and make a play, like whether it's like taking a charge or something that just like brings the energy up. Yeah. So what would you say if one of your teammates was down after a missed shot, uh, a foul, or just wasn't playing good, what would you say to them? I would let them know that all the greats, they all make mistakes. Like even like the best people today who are in the league, that be the NBA, NBA, everyone has those off moments, but you just gotta keep going through it. Yeah, what sets London apart from every other team? I would say probably my hustle and my rebounding. That's like one of my favorite things to do is yeah. go make sure I'm getting every board and controlling the board. That's probably like doing the dirty work. A lot of people don't want to mm -hmm. play D, they don't want to rebound, they just want to score. Mm -hmm. But defense wins championship. What things do you feel like you need to work on? Personally, my ball handling and looking to score more because as I like go up, I'm not going to be a post forever right, right, <laughs> because right. of my height. So I think just working on my like offensive game with ball handling. Yeah, what grade are you in? I'm in 10th, but I'm about to be a junior. Okay, two more years here at the top. So it's going to take continuously hard work, continue extra efforts doing it. Uh, what does hard work mean to you? It means like putting in hours outside of just regular practice, whether it's like going in early or staying late, just getting in extra time like by myself. Yeah, what advice could you give to the youth who uh, want to be a great basketball player in the cell and get to that position where you at? Um, even on the days when it seems rough or you don't feel like practicing, always just go because any little things you do is going to help your game every day. Whatever little things that you can do to help yourself, it's going to count in the long run. Yeah. Who are your role models or who contributed to the type of player that you are today? Definitely my dad because from a young age he pushed me to always, like I said, stay in the gym, stay doing something like no matter what the conditions are. So definitely him. Yeah. And players in the league like Adrian Wilson, I like up to her game a lot. Yeah. What about Angel Reese? Oh, I love Angel. Double, double. So when mm -hmm. you said that about rebounding and defense, that's what mm -hmm. I thought of. That's yes. what I thought of. What have you liked so far with the AAU season? What's been the most memorable moment or a game or a play? Mm, well, for my team, I like the intensity that we play at. The most memorable moment would probably be in Dallas when we were playing and we had we only had everyone had to catch flights that day, so we had to finish out the game with four people and we still won. Oh, so that wow. was definitely So they still do that if you got enough whoever on the court uh -huh. how to play. Um what is a rewarding part that you have got for playing a in this season? Um, I've gotten to better my game. Like I've gotten a lot better offensively ever since I started playing with Georgia Coleman League. Yeah. What is having that sisterhood, that bond, that team camaraderie, what does that mean to you and how do you guys 
keep it and don't lose it. It means so much. We do team bonding a lot. Uh, we do we did like CrossFit or something as team bonding. <laughs> we do CrossFit, yeah. Six Flags. We just make sure that we all have someone we can talk to within the team. And the coaches, they're also like that. If we ever need something any hour of the day, we can always talk to them. So. What have you learned by playing against nationally ranked competition and national players from all around the world? What have you learned? I've learned that you don't have to like do what everybody else does because coaches look for a lot of different things so you can find what you're good at and figure out how to work that into something that can be what they want because there's so many different types of players. Yeah. Last couple questions. After a big game, a big win, where is London want to go get something to eat and what meal do you want? I'm going to get some Brewsters. I'm going to get <laughs> Sunday some ice cream, definitely. Okay, okay. And what, whatever comes to your heart, speak some words of encouragement to the youth. I would just say keep pushing. Like, whenever you have those moments when you feel down, it's important to just remember that it's never as bad as you seem, it's never as good as you seem. Just keep going. Yeah, and what has been your process as far as school? Are you taking it day by day? You're waiting to be in at your end of junior? As far as college, and what has your thoughts been on you know, where you want to go or what school is going to fit you? I'm not sure yet. I'm going to take some more classes to see what I'm looking for academically and then start there and see which basketball programs I can fit into. And what words of advice would you say to the youth who might be going through the same thing as you? I would say make sure you keep your grades up because that's like a major thing with playing that coaches look for. They want to make sure that their players are reliable and they'll be able to play like because of restrictions, because of your grades and stuff. So make sure you're staying on top of that. Well, thank you. It's been great. Today we're spotlighting London for hard work on the court and out off the court. We tell you, continue to be great, continue to dominate, continue to have that hard work. Know that sky is the limit. If God is for you, who could be against you? Continue to have your faith. Know that you can be great. Greatness is in you. You are made for a time like this. So walk in your purpose on purpose and continue to be great. Thank you so much.